We know the Fed has a 2% inflation goal, but history shows that 2% is actually more wishful thinking than reality. When you back out food and fuel costs, consumer prices have met or exceeded the 2% target only a quarter of the time in the past two decades. My co-anchor the next hour, Scarlet Food, joins me now with more on this story. And the culprits are... The culprits are technology, mobile apps, Amazon, Uber, the likes. Uh, it goes back to what Alan Greenspan said a while ago, which is that inflation may have died with technological innovation. We've seen some massive structural changes in the economy and the way we do things, and that is putting a lid on consumer prices. So as a result, some economists like Alan Sinai of Decision Economics says that that 2% target doesn't sound right. He says perhaps the Fed should lower its target from 2% uh, or they risk financial instability by keeping monetary policy. Uh, low or loose for far too long. He's looking at potentially a one and a half percent inflation target. Is this more about the technology giving consumers more pricing power, more choice? Well, that and the fact that it's allowed everyone to scale to keep prices low. Amazon is a really good example of how it came in with a low prices for books and then expanded quickly to everything else. And because it has a scale, because it was able to cut down on the physical costs of keeping uh, stores stocked and only relying on the, the actual distribution center, it was able to spread that low cost uh, idea to everyone. Uber is another good example of technological innovation, which has kept prices under control. It's in many cities cheaper than taxi cabs, uh, especially to and from the airport. It's a game changer whether you're in a city like Los Angeles or San Francisco where cabs are already kind of difficult to get to, or even in New York where there was a decent supply of cabs. This is interesting because there's a great story about this on Bloomberg.com uh, and on the Bloomberg terminal. It, and in some instances, it gets down to what one person told us, price visibility mm. and dynamics. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, we're in an environment where you can comparison shop in a way that you couldn't before, Absolutely, right? Yeah. Uh, you can do your research. You just need to put the time in. Usually when you pay higher prices, oftentimes it's because you choose to. You don't want to put the effort and the well, work. Well, you might not know any better because you haven't done your education. Right. You haven't done your homework. Now you can, and you, the, the cost to you is time. Another technological innovation, which we've talked about in the past, but really the impact might not be felt for a couple of years, is fracking. Uh, yeah. Certainly it's been around for decades, but only in the last couple of years have we really seen that the technological advances have become become cheap enough and widespread enough that you can actually scale it, apply it on a large scale. So there's one analyst who says the next stage of improvements when it comes to technological advances in fracking could send the break-even price of U.S. oil down to $5 or $20. That would be on par with Saudi Arabia, wow. which would be a massive game changer.